So today I'm, I'm reading a paper called Latin ODEs for Irregular Sampler Time Series. It's from the University of Toronto. Uh, abstract is time series with non-uniform intervals occur in many applications and are difficult to model using standard recurrent neural networks. We generalize RNNs to have continuous time hidden dynamics defined by ordinary dif differential equations. A model we call ODE uh, RNN. Furthermore, we use ODE RNN to replace the recognition network of uh, recently proposed latent ODE model. Both ODE and RNNs and latent ODEs are naturally can naturally handle arbitrary time gaps between the observations and explicitly model the probability observation times using Poisson processes. Uh, we show empirically, experimentally, that these ODE-based models outperform their RNN-based counterparts on irregularly sampled data. Okay, so what's new here that they uh, work with the uh, arbitrary time gaps between the measurements and they say they can improve on RNNs uh, by uh, proposing a model that is called ODE RNN, uh, continuous time hidden dynamics. Introduction. Recurrent neural networks are a dominant model for the high dimensional irregularly sampled time series data such as text or speech. However, there are an accurate fit for ir irregularly sampled time series common in the medical business settings. A standard trick for applying RNN to irregular time series is to divide the timeline into equal size intervals and impute or aggregate observation using averages. Such pre-processing distorts information, particularly about the timing of measurements, which can be informed about latent variables. An approach which uh, better matches reality is to construct continuous time model with latent state defined at all times. Recently, the steps have been taken in this direction, refining RNNs with continuous dynamics given by simple exponential decay observations. We generalize the state transitions in RNNs to continuous time dynamics specified by a neural network, such as neural ODEs. We call this model ODE RNNs and use it to construct two distinct continuous time models. First, we use it as a standalone autoregressive model. Second, we defined a Latin ODE model of Chen et al. 2018 by using ODE RNN as a recognition network. Latent ODEs define generative process over time series based on the deterministic evolution of an initial latent state and can be trained as a variational autoencoder. Uh, okay, let's uh, repeat this one. An approach which is which better matches reality is to construct continuous time model with a latent state defined at all times. Finding RNNs with continuous dynamics given by simple exponential decay. Uh, this figure one hidden states trajectories. Vertical lines show observation times. Lines show different dimensions of the hidden state. Standard RNNs have constant or undefined hidden states between the observations. The RNN decay model has states which exponentially decay towards zero and are updated at observation. State of neural ODEs follow a complex trajectory but are defined by initial state. The ODE RNN model has states which obey the OE between observation and also updated observations. Okay, start standard RNN. These state jumps, RNN decay have exponential decay of states to some sort of mean. We got zero uh, neural ODE. Uh, it, they seem to look very, very continuous, but OD RNNs have these sort of discrete jumps. But in between the jumps, there seem to be some. Um, uh, they, they obey some sort of model, as they say here. Model has states which obey an OD between observations and are also updated at the observation. So the jumps are the updates. Naturally, and the time gaps between observation and remove the need for group observations into equally timed bins. We compare ODE models to several RNN variants 
and find that ODE RNNs can perform better in when the data is sparse. Since the absence of observations itself can be informative, we further argument latent ODEs to gently model times of observations using Poisson process. So background, here the describe, recommend neural networks and neural ordinary differential equations. Neural ODEs, Chen et al. 2018, are family of continuous time models, which define a hidden state to be a solution of ODE initial value problem. Uh, so there is a derivation of h dependent on t uh, derived by t equals to function f dependent on theta uh, which takes uh, h dependent on t and t where h uh, at point t0 is h0 in which of the function of f theta specifies the dynamics of the in of the hidden state using a neural network with parameters theta. The hidden state ht is defined at all times and can be evaluated at different times using ODE solver. Okay. So can ODE solver take should have the value? And showed how adjoint sensitivities can be used to compute memory efficient gradients, um, allowing black blocks ODE solvers to be used as a building blocks in larger models. They also conducted toy experiments in a time series model in which the latent state follows a neural ODE. Gen 2018 used inver time invariant dynamics in their time series model and we follow the same approach by adding time dependence would be straightforward if necessary. Okay, algorithm one, ODE RNN, the only difference highlighted in blue from standard RNNs is that the preactivation age evolve according to ODE between the observation instead of being fixed. All right, so that's, I guess that's the main idea, this ODE. So once more, this ODE RNN, it's the same as RNN except the Preactivation age evolve according to ODE between the observations instead of being fixed. So you get input points and their timestamps, and then there is a for loop. First, you solve, you use ODE solver, and then on the result, you apply RNN cell. I get H1. So solve ODE to get state at TI, update hidden state given current observation of XE. Th then there's an end of loop and output. Okay. Latent ODEs and latent variable construction. Autoregressive models such as RNNs and ODE RNN present above, presented above are easy to train and allow fast online predictions. However, autoregressive models can be hard to interpret since their update function combines both their model of system dynamics and of conditioning on new observations. Furthermore, their hidden state does not explicitly encode uncertainty about the state of the true system. In terms of predictive accuracy, Autoregressive models are often sufficient to densely sample data, but perform worse when observations are sparse.
An alternative to autoregressive models are latent variable models. Uh, for example, Chen 2018 proposed a latent variable time series model where the generative model is defined by ODE, whose initial latent state is at zero determines the entire trajectory. Figure 2. The latent ODE model with ODE RNN encoder. To make predictions in this model, the ODE RNN encoder is run backwards in time to produce the approximate posterior over the initial state. Given a sample of Z0, we can find latent state at any point of interest by solving an ODE initial value problem. Latent variable framework com comes with several benefits. First, it explicitly decouples the dynamics of the system or the, the likelihood of observations and recognition model, allowing each to be examined or specified on its own. Second, the posterior distribution over the latent states provides an explicit measure of uncertainty, which is not available in standard RNNs. Finally, it becomes easier to answer non-standard queries such as making predictions backwards in time or conditioning on subset of observations. Now it decouples the dynamics of the system. Okay, so I wonder how do you exactly construct the OD itself? Is it something that you have? Is it like input to the the problem. Patching and computational complexity. When should you use OD based model over standard RNNs? Standard RNNs are ignore the time gaps between the points. As such, the standard RNNs work well on regularly spaced data with few missing values and when the time intervals between the points are short. Models with continuous space, latent space, such as ODRN or RNNDK can be evaluated at the desired time point and therefore are suitable for interpolation tasks. In these models, the future hidden states depend on the time since the last observation, also making them better suited for sparse or irregular data than the standard RNNs. RNN decay enforces the hidden state converges monotonically to the fixed point over time. ODE RNNs, the form of the dynamics between the observation is learned rather than predefined. Okay, so the ODE is learned itself. Thus, ODE RNNs can be used in sparse or irregular data without making strong assumptions about the dynamics of the time series. Latent variable models versus the autoregressive models. In autoregressive models, both dynamics and conditioning on the data are encoded implicitly through the hidden state updates which makes them hard to interpret. In contrast, encoder decoder models such as Latin ODE, RNN, VAE represent the state explicitly through a vector Z, T and represent the dynamics explicitly through the generative model. Latin space states in these models can be used to compare different time series, again clustering or classification tasks and dynamic functions can be examined to identify types of dynamics present in the data set. Okay, experiments, toy data set. We tested our model on toy data set of oh, 1000 uh, periodic trajectories with variable frequency and same amplitude. The, we sampled the initial point from standard Gaussian and added Gaussian noise. Each trajectory is hunted sample points during the training subsample. Full set of 100 points. Uh, figure 4a a Latin model audio condition on a small subset of data. This model trained on 30. 
které extrapolace. K A uh, data points. Interesting. Right, right. Um, there isn't much detail about how the ODs are constructed. Uh, let's see the discussion in conclusion. Then I think I will try to have a look at the original paper for ODR and ends. We introduce a family of time series models, ODR and ends, where hidden states dynamics are specified by neural ordinary differential equations, neural ODs. We first investigate this model as a standalone refinement of RNNs. We also use this model to improve the cognition networks of a variation of the game model known as Latin ODEs. Latin ODEs provide relatively interpretable Latin states as well as explicit uncertainty estimates about the Latin states. Neither model requires discretizing observation times or impute data as a processing step, making them suitable for irregular sample time series data common in data applications. Finally, demonstrated the contains Latin variable states can be combined with Poisson process likely used to model the rates at which observations are made.